for the first book review of the year, I decided to do something that is new for me. I have read books similar to this before, but they have been books that have been written by the same author compiled into one, or books that have been in a series, they're in a series, sorry, and are compiled into one book. So this book, Entangled, that is four suspense novellas, um, was something that was new. It is, has books by Tracy Hunter Abramson, Claren Polson, Greg Luke, and Stephanie Black. And that three out of the four authors I have read, and I love their styles, I love the way that they have the mystery, the adventure, and how they make you really think on things. Um, Tracy Hunter Abramson, to me, her style is m the mystery, the adventure, with that thread of romance in there. I am not big on romance books. I am more of a mystery type person, which is why I loved reading Nancy Drew in elementary, and I even reread them throughout junior high and high school. I love watching shows like Perry Mason and Matlock occasionally. I've watched Psych thousands of times, it feels like. Um, but just trying to solve the mystery in things. And I feel like Claire and Paulson is the same way with his writing style. Um, and Stephanie Black, when sh the books that I've read of hers, she really kind of messes with your brain really in um, in a way that makes you think, oh, well, maybe this person is the bad guy. No, you know, you just had some clues back here that they're the good person. No, you know this is the good person. And then, no, maybe this guy's the good, bad guy. And she just throws in all these elements that really leave you confused as to who the bad guy is until the last few chapters when it gets revealed. And that's the same with Claire and Paulson and Tracy Hunter Abramson stories as well. Greg Luke, I have not read any of his stories before or his books before, but from what I've read on Amazon, the little excerpts about the story, is that he writes a lot of books that have um, disease or plagues or an illness in them and the storyline is based on how to cure these things and so it's interesting for me to get in to a new author and see his style of writing so the first book in this series is by Tracy Hunter Abramson and it is about a mother who is protecting her children from her ex-husband and he manages to kidnap one from her and there's a whole adventure that ensues from her trying to protect her other child and get her other her kidnapped child back. The second book is by Claren Polson and he his story is about a mother who is a wit an yeah, I cannot talk straight. A mother who lives with her daughter and she is dating an officer with his two children and he has two children. There we go. I can't talk straight. An officer that has two children and her daughter ends up getting kidnapped and there's another adventure that ensues from that and there is a lot of police interference in the case to get them to stop looking for her daughter to throw the officers that are investigating the case off. And then the third book is by Greg Luke, and it is about a wife who's trying to figure out what is going on with her husband. He's has some mystery symptoms that he thinks is one thing, and she is a pharmacist, so there's some things that she thinks is what's happening with him, and the whole story is her trying to figure out what is going on with her husband. The fourth book is by Stephanie Black and it is about a newlywed couple who come into an area and the wife learns in the end she thinks her husband is one thing but then finds out at the end 
that he is something that she never would have thought about her husband. And there's a whole web of connections in there that I had to go back a few times to figure out how things were connected in there. So the only thing that I wish about this book is that Claire Impulson and Tracy Hunter Abramson's books had a diff like an epilogue type thing. Um, that's just my, my wish. Um, I know that that's not usually what happens with a novella, but for me, that's, there's the happy ending in, in these, but I still, you know, wanted to, to know what happens to the, the couples in the story. So, but I'm hoping that I can, now that I've gotten into this story, which I don't think I told you, it's called Entangled. I'm hoping to get into these more because I know Tracy Hunter Abramson has a few more of these novellas that she's done with people and I want to see if I can find them and read them and then I'll review them for you. But well, this was a really fun thing for me because it wasn't just one story. It was four, you know, combined to one. And so, but I hope to really keep up with these book reviews. I hope this one made sense for you guys. I have an, another book for next week. It's one that's been on my book list to get finished for a bit. And I finally got the book from, on CD from the library because mm -hmm. lately things have been crazy that I haven't had time to read. So I've listened to books through my Kindle or... I have on CD so I'm hoping that I am able to keep up with these book reviews because that is one of my New Year's resolutions is to get these going back up again and keep up on them so I hope like I said I hope that you enjoyed this and that it made sense to you guys I haven't done one of these in a while so my thoughts got jumbled up and there's just I hope Anyways, I hope it made sense. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in Monday's video. Bye, guys.